Hey, 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 hey. Good morning, everybody, and uh, and welcome to this pop-up. I wanted to pop in because uh, there are just a few things, a, a quick announcement, but also a word that I want to release really, really quick that I believe is uh, going to be um, helpful, that's going to uh, be uh, insinuating uh, about what's happening in our next. So I'm excited, and I want you guys uh, to be excited as well about what what is uh, about to happen? What is shifting? What is moving? What is getting ready uh, to to um, we're getting ready to operate in uh, in this season that we are walking into? So welcome, welcome everybody! Uh, happy Monday, happy April first! It is the first of the month, and I usually I have not been able to do. Um, pop-ups uh on like the first when 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 seasons come in and things like that because you know the girl gathering has me gathered and so there's not a lot of the times where I'm able to do that type of thing but today I'm making an exception because I believe that there's something that I want to pronounce over the atmosphere and I want you guys to be uh here to hear it and to heed it so hello welcome uh everybody you can hit the share button or tag somebody and let them know listen, we are on and popping. As a matter of fact, let me make sure that I'm sharing this and letting the people know we, we're on because there's something that I believe is going to bless us in our now for our next. And I want to make sure uh, that we are, that we are all hearing the same thing because uh, it, it's a pop-up. And so, uh, yeah, let me share this out too, because I believe that that's going to bless uh, the people of God. And so uh, as you guys come on, uh, welcome. If I am new to you, uh, my name is Alisa. Some call me Apostle E, Dr. E, sis, listen, whatever it is, however it is that you refer to me, I'm grateful to be in the land of the living. Can I just say that part? And so, um, and so, I'm I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about um, what I am sensing and seeing in the spirit. And even though we understand that there are so many things that are to come. I just believe that our hope, our faith, uh, our trust is in God. And, uh, and and I have this thing that I've been thinking about, um, you know, when God, when there, when we understand that there are some things that are primed to happen and, and we understand that, you know, we prepare in the natural uh, for things that are to come. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. We understand that, uh, that the enemy has things that he is plotting and plotting planning. He has uh, what what he's doing, but, you know, we can make a decision about how we choose to respond to the enemy. We can make a decision. Listen, I see Germany tapping into the house. I see Cape Town tapping in. I appreciate you guys. That let me know where you're watching from. I see the Grow Gathering tapped in, locked and loaded. So good morning and welcome wherever, whatever time it is when you watch this, even if you're watching the replay. But I want to, um, to make a proclamation uh, yesterday, as we were inside of, um, as we were inside of the Grow Gathering for Resurrection Sunday, uh, South Carolina is in the house, and so we uh, we were talking about uh, making decisions. We were talking about first you make a decision, then you make a declaration, and so today, and then you make a disassociation. We were talking about. Uh, as we were reading from the word of God and we were saying that when Jesus, before when before he took his last breath, uh, he cried out again in a loud voice, the Bible says, uh, and then uh, he and then he gave up his spirit. And I said, you know, this is what we do. We make a decision. He decided he was going to die. Then he made a declaration that it is finished. I have done what I came to do. And then the Bible says he gave up his ghost. And so then he, he made a disassociation. And so I I just it, it, in this season, we understand what the enemy is um, always trying to do, you know, in the natural. Uh, they call April 1st, April Fool's Day. But can I tell you, it's, it might be April, but I won't be no fool. Can I just say this again for y'all in the back? It might be April, but I'm not going to be a fool. And so what I'm doing is I'm making a decision that this is going to be a month 
of fulfillment and favor for me. And now I'm making a declaration because I, I got to say it out of my mouth so that so that I can come into agreement. And then number three, I'm disassociating myself from anything that will try to distract, destroy, discombobulate, discourage. I'm, I'm making a decision to disassociate. And so that's what we're doing uh, this morning as I just make this announcement about what, what we are looking for in the next 30 days, we make a decision, we make a declaration, and then we make a disassociation. And so I am um, I'm positioning us to be in a place where we are able to walk in a season of overflow. We're able to walk in a season of favor. Um, one of the things that we sometimes don't recognize is that favor is a weapon. Can somebody put this in the comments? Favor is a weapon. Uh, sometimes we don't understand this because, you know, again, we're privileged, we're honored when the Lord extends favor over our lives. But we don't know sometimes that it's a weapon. It's a way that we are able to be weaponized against the wiles of the enemy. We don't understand if you look in the Bible and if anybody that the Lord talks about having favor, Joseph had favor with man, with people. Jesus grew and had favor with man and with people. Favor is a weapon. Favor is a way uh, to position you into places. I always say favor is God's unearned grace, his unearned uh, preference. His, 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 it's when he decides. It's not about whether we can earn it, whether what we can do with it. It's because he decided to extend it to us. Uh, and, and, and so we don't understand sometimes that favor is a weapon when we are in a place where we're overwhelmed, when we are in a place where it seems like hell is all around us. And, and we're saying, I don't know what to do. I have prayed, I've cried, I've done this. Well, sometimes we have to lean into the favor because favor is a weapon. I feel the anointing. We lean, I'm not gonna be up here long. Favor is a weapon. And so I love the Bible because the reason why we don't understand that favor is a weapon, Psalm 5 and 12 says, for you bless the righteous, oh God, oh Lord, you cover him with favor as with a shield. I'm gonna try not to run. Thank you guys that are jumping on and sharing this, but I need y'all to understand because people don't teach it like this. Favor is a weapon. When the Lord wants to protect us, sometimes he will send favor. We look at favor a lot of the times and we just say, oh, I just want, if I found favor in your sight, oh Lord, what does that mean? Favor is also a weapon. I think we, um, we look at favor as like a gift in kind, you know, something that that is that is given to us. That means and it does also mean that we are able to have an extraordinary amount of grace in a certain arena. But at the end of the day, favor is also a weapon. And so I, I need us to I have to prove it in the word. The Bible says for you again, Psalm five and 12 says for you, this talking, he's talking to the Lord for you bless the righteous. O Lord, you cover him with favor as with a shield. I just need, if you didn't type it already, you better say it out loud. Favor is a weapon. And so I love this because it tells us that, that when the Lord wants to protect us, a lot of the times he will use favor. He will use favor. We we speak a lot of the times about this scripture in Psalm 84 and 11, which says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Listen, favor is a weapon. He says, I'm a sun and I'm a shield. I'll make sure that the sun shines on you. I'll make sure that you get what you need, but I'll also make sure that you're protected and I'm not going to withhold anything from you who's walking uprightly. We have to understand the Bible says in Genesis 6 and 8, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And why do we know Noah found favor? Because not only did the Lord make sure that Noah was saved, even in the midst of his judgment, that he also made sure that Noah was able to begin again. Let me tell you something that we understand. I said at the end of 2023, that in this, in this particular year that was coming, 2024 was going to be the year of demonstration. We were going to see uh, both, both the um, um, amazement of the Lord, but also we were going to see the judgment of the Lord. We were going to see the Lord do wonders and you can still go back and watch Watch that, that prophetic word, the last word uh, of, of 2023, I think it was called, what next? And, and, and I believe that 
that we are both seeing the Lord demonstrate, the Bible says, and there will be a performance of the things that were promised. But then the Bible also says that uh, for a long time, God said he, he was silent and he held himself back. But now like a woman in travail, he's going to devour and destroy at the same time. And so I just believe in this year of demonstration, we are, are both going to see the fury and the favor of the Lord at the same time. I believe that we are going to see the Lord bring judgment to things. And I always say that when the Lord brings a rebuke, it's because he wants to reconcile us back to righteousness. Um, but I also believe that we are going to see a divine restoration as the Lord shows favor on those uh, who have been walking upright before him as he begins to reconcile people uh, back to righteousness as well. And so I want us to understand this because we think that uh, we don't need favor. I just, I got my good works. I got my connections. I, I have my hookups. I have my knowledge. I, I have access into certain things. No, at the end of the day, even Jesus, Jesus had favor. Can I help us with something? Luke 2 and 52 says, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature. So he, he, he increased, he got his learning in stature, right? In his uprightness, but in favor with God and man. Listen, I'm telling you, there is a duality to this thing. Jesus, even though he increased in his stature, he increased in his wisdom. He also increased in favor, not just, I love that the Bible was intentional, not just with God, but also with man. I need us to understand that in this season, as we are declaring these 30 days of favor, we're not just asking for favor with God. We also want favor with man. Can I help us with something? We want favor with man because we need favor for houses. We need favor for land. We need favor for, 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 for new uh, enterprises. We need favor. We, I, I, is anybody ready for favor? And so I'm just letting you know that we believe favor is coming our way. We believe that at the appointed time, I'm telling you, I love this in, in, in um, Psalm 102 and 13, it says, you'll arise and have pity on Zion. But then it says, it is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. Can I tell you, it is time to, for you to have favor. The appointed time has come. I just believe that this is the appointed time for favor. I'm not sure if you guys can see my shirt. I'm going to be wearing this shirt all day as we kick off our favor series. It says windows, doors, and rooms. I just believe that we're going to find favor. Windows are going to open up. Doors are going to be open. We're going to, his, our gift will make room for us and bring us before great men. I'm telling you, as we launch into this 30 days of favor. We're going to find favor with God and with man. I told you at the beginning, favor is a weapon. And sometimes the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And I just believe that one of the weapons that we are about to execute in this season is the weapon of favor. And so I want you guys, I really just came to let you know that we are declaring, I told you we make a decision, we make a decree, and then we make a disassociation. So we make a decision that we are going to be connected to 30 days of favor. If you are not a member of the Grow Gathering, it's an amazing community. Uh, it's free. You guys can uh, can find it. It is really just a hub of advancement, kingdom advancement, personal advancement, entrepreneurial advancement, spiritual advancement. Uh, but the Grow Gathering is a hub where we come together and uh, we learn and we walk and we fellowship and we have fun and we grow in different areas. And for the next 30 days, every single day of the month of April, we are going to be decreeing and declaring favor. We have four areas that we are going to be decreeing and declaring declaring uh, favor on. We're going to be declaring favor in our faith. Um, we understand. I always teach that favor is the currency of heaven. You can't purchase anything from heaven uh, on earth without faith. Without faith, the Bible says, without faith, it's impossible uh, to 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 please the Lord. And that the things that we needed, the Bible says, if any man asks and he does not have faith and he's doubting, then he's going to be back and forward. He should that man, the Bible says, shouldn't ask for anything. And so we're going to kick it off with favor in our faith, and we're going to um we're going to be stabilizing 
our faith in the area of favor. We're going to be uh, shifting our mindset to know that we are called to receive favor. We're going to be declaring favor in our faith. Windows will be open. Doors will be open. Rooms, our, our, our favor is going to make room for us. So we're going to be declaring for 30 days inside of the Grow Gathering, favor, favor, favor. We're playing an alphabet game. And so I believe it's kicking off tomorrow or Wednesday, every single day of the month. If you are a part of the Grow Gathering, we're going to start with the letter A and we're going all the way to Z. And if your name begins with a certain letter, we are going to put your name into our into our community chat hub and everybody is going to come and speak favor over your name. I'm talking about people who need a good dose of favor. You're just saying, look, I don't have people that speak well over me, that encourage me, that shift me, that move me. Well, can I tell you the Grow Gathering, we've decided to be intentional about 30 days of complete favor. And so we're going to begin with favor uh, in our faith. The entire week, we're going to be shifting over favor in our faith. We're going to be building up our faith in our most holy faith. We're going to be building ourselves up to receive favor. We're going to be shifting our mindsets and our spirit to prepare ourselves to say, you know what? Favor is coming unto me. Favor is my portion. We're going to be walking the word. We're going to be declaring favor. And then week two, we're going to be dealing with, uh, listen, because uh, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't want to miss this. Let me see if I can can, can share this screen and, and let y'all see because we, we out here and we want you all to know that favor is going to be your portion. 30 days of, of favor. Week two, we're going to be dealing with favor in our family. If you have a loved one and you're saying, listen, our family needs favor. We're going to be prophesying over children and boys and girls and husbands and 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 and, and fertility. I heard some of our, because our leaders are going to be coming out and they're going to be prophesying and speaking. We're going to be prophesying favor over families, families that might have been estranged. We're calling them back together. Families who have been going through something. We're praying over husbands. Somebody, one of our leaders is going to be doing favor for fathers. We're going to be, we're going to really be doing favor for family. We're going to be uh, concentrating and consecrating over a favor specifically for families. If you are believing God for a mate, we're going to be prophesying favor for families. If if they're your children, you're saying, I'm just not sure what's happening with them at school and in their emotions. We're prophesying. We're going to be speaking that entire week favor over families. And then week three, we're going to have favor over finances. Listen, if you're an entrepreneur, uh, if you are creative, if you are working in the workforce, if you're just saying my money is acting funny, my, my change looking at me strange, we are going to be prophesying over money, over finances. Listen, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. And so we are going to be, our, our, our finance people are going to be showing us how to tap into the favor in finances. We literally are going to be dissecting what does the word say about having favor in our finances. And then in our last week, we're going to be dealing with favor in our future. I'm talking about whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. That last week, we're going to be prophesying favor for our future. What is it that you believe? What is it that God has called you to do? What is in your purpose? We Listen, windows, doors, and rooms. I'm talking about favor, favor, favor. I'm telling you, it's a lot of the times, and y'all know I believe in rightly dividing the word of truth. I believe in teaching uh, in our in our every Monday night. And so it kicks off tonight. And uh, so make sure that you guys have already joined the Grow Gathering because it kicks off on tonight. Uh, as our every Monday night, we have Bible study. We call it Revelation Realm. And so I come in and I really teach in Revelation Realm. But on Sunday nights, I'm going to be preaching a prophetic word and prophesying. And then we're going to have some prophetic councils that are going to gonna be coming together just to speak life over, over men and women and boys and girls and grown moms and aunties and uncles and cousins. I'm talking about it is going to be, that's right, a favor takeover. And so I'm so excited because I've never, you know, a lot of the times we always, you know, we we have a high, we have a low, we have an in-between. But this time the Lord says in preparation for what is to come, yes, we prepare in the natural. Yes, we prepare in the spirit. Yes, we prepare our minds. Yes, we prepare our hearts. But the Lord told me this time, prepare the atmosphere for favor. And and I just believe because if you even think about the story of Joseph, we understand that the Bible says that even though uh, the, 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 the country, even though that region was in a recession, that whole region, they were in a famine. They, uh, uh, Joseph had found favor. And because he had favor when somebody else was in need, he had the solution. Can I tell you this? The kingdom does not work like the world system. We in a whole different system. And sometimes the Lord will give us a whole different set of instructions 
things. Yes, we believe in preparing. Yes, we believe in having our house in order. Yes, we believe in having our finances in order. But in the end of the day, the Lord has given me a very specific initiative for the next 30 days. And he said, all I want y'all talking about is favor. All I want y'all speaking about is favor. All I want y'all prophesying in is favor. All I want you teaching through is favor. And so I just encourage you guys, uh, if you want to tag somebody, share this, let them know that it is 30 days of favor in the growth. I don't care if y'all just come and join for 30 days and then leave out after you got it. I promise you by the time you get in, you won't want to go because we are going to be in exciting and igniting the favor of the Lord. We're going to be pulling it down. We're going to be calling it forth. We're going to be watching it manifested in our lives. And so we're dealing with favor four weeks, 30 days of favor inside of the grow gathering. It kicks off today. Um, like I said, beginning tomorrow, we give him everybody time to join. See, see, I'm holding it back. Cause I want y'all to have time to tell your friends, tell your neighbors, I almost feel like it's one of those Noah and the flood. Listen, y'all come get on the, get on the ark because it, when it rains, I want to make sure that you protect it, that this favor I just read to you. I just got to read it one more time because I don't want y'all to not to misunderstand this. The Bible says that in in, in um, Psalm 5 and 12, for you bless the righteousness, O Lord, you cover him with favor as with a shield. And I believe that the protection of the Lord is coming through favor uh, in this season. And so I want you to know, I said at the beginning, favor is a weapon. And so join us. We're going to be playing the alphabet bet game. And if we call it a game, but it's really a G-A-I-N, a game. And so we are going to be, if you're, we're going to, everybody who is a member, every single for, for those 26 letters of the alphabet during our 30 days of favor, we're going to be at, we're going to at, and we're going to put everybody's name, day one, A, everybody's name who starts with the A, we're going to put your name inside of our community hub and everybody, all of our leaders, all of the people, we're going to speak favor over you, we're, over your name, particularly, we're going to speak a scripture over you. We're going to declare favor. Day two, we'll talk about everybody whose name start with B. We're coming on in and we're going to be prophesying favor over your name, over you in particular. If you've never felt like somebody has targeted you for favor, because we get targeted for a lot of stuff, targeted for rumors, targeted for things that have done wrong. People target us for all kind of foolishness. But in this time, we're declaring that we're targeting you for a favor. We are about to speak favor in your life. And I am so excited. I am just so honored that we get the opportunity to activate the atmosphere for favor. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see miracles, signs, and wonders. I believe that when the Lord is ready to release favor, it is because there is going to come a flood. Can I tell you, the Lord has told me to activate favor before the flood. I don't know exactly all of the things that the enemy has planned. I don't even know all of the things that the Lord is, is having planned plan because he needs to cleanse the world of some unrighteousness and get things back in order. But I'm grateful that he told me he's sending his favor before he sends his flood. I just need somebody who wants to come into agreement that he's sending his favor before he sends his flood. And so I just want to encourage each and every one of you guys to join the Grow Gathering. I just believe it's you just the growgathering.com. We made it very, very easy for you to be a part of this and to join us. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like like, um, it's like a social media without the social media. Can I just help us? It's 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 like having being able to have access to 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 everything. That, imagine coming into a community. Imagine logging in, and all you are seeing is 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 songs that mo that 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 inspire you and that encourage your faith. All you see is posts that make you laugh or shift you to go higher. All you see is people coming together for fellowship. All you see is people enjoying life and having a good time, and there is no competition, and you don't see anybody trying to stunt on somebody else. All you just see are people that are coming together and they are excited. I want you guys to join the grow because I'm telling you, we are about to have a kingdom take over. Now, listen, I'm going to snatch this on the screen because I want you guys to see this. Um, with the grow, you can sign up to receive our text messaging updates. If you are a member, we will text you. You can get up in the morning. You can be like, what's happening today? Well, we're going to text you. So just put, just, uh, if you 
you're watching this from from um, your computer or if you watch it later listen you can scan this code to never miss out on our text updates we're gonna text you and say all right we're about to go live or all right tomorrow it's it's, it's five minutes before uh, revelation realm we're about to shift or hey we're getting ready to play a game over here uh, so come on and join in or hey we're getting ready to do our faith for father session all of our leaders will be coming together and they're going to be announcing different levels of favor. They're going to be, each one of them has their own in particular assignment where they're going to be coming in with favor, with different se uh, segments of favor. And I don't want you to miss it. I've heard about some of the things that they are about to do. And I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this thing. At the end of the day, you can always join us. There's a, a QR code at the top of the screen. If you have not joined the Grow Gathering yet, you are always welcome to join us at the Grow. But I also want you, if you are a part of the grow and you say, I don't want to miss out on any part of this, then you better make sure that you just scan this little code so that you can get this text message app because you do not want to miss out on 30 days of favor. We are calling out your particular name. We are going to be speaking favor. Like I said, the four areas that we're going to be dealing with favor in our faith, because before we can receive anything before we can really walk into the totality of totality of this. We've got to deal with our mindset. Why do we? Why don't we think we deserve favor? What do we need to do when we walk in favor? And so we're going to really be dealing with favor and building up our faith. And then we're going to be dealing with favor in our families. I'm telling you, I don't care what condition you feel like your family is in. We are going to be speaking and uh, um, announcing favor over your families. There are going to be some nights where we're going to be having prophetic favor nights. And all we're going to be doing is prophesying over families. All we're going to be doing is prophesying. We're going to say, hey, what are people that are believing God for a husband? What are people believing God for a wife? Where are the people believing God for children? We're going to be speaking. Can somebody just say favor, favor, favor? I'm telling you favor for 30 days that we're going to be speaking into favor. We're not coming to bash. We're not coming to hash. We are just specifically coming together just to incite favor. And then we're going to deal with favor over finances. Our finance team is going to be coming together, showing us how to obtain favor in our finances. We're going to be dealing with how to obtain favor uh, in, in different areas when it comes to money, because folks don't like to talk about money, especially if theirs is funny. But I walk in a supernatural wealth anointing and we're going to be teaching and, and releasing and speaking and activating favor over finances. And then we're going to be dealing with favor in our future. Listen, what's coming? How do we prophesy favor into our purpose? I'm telling you, it is going to be 30 days of favor. I am excited about the different leaders that are going to be popping up, doing sessions, popping up, leaving prophetic words, popping up, doing some things. And I want you to be in the know at the grow. And so you can scan this code that's right in front of me to sign up for text messaging uh, to make sure you don't miss a thing. And then there is a code at the top left of uh, this screen that uh, that if you have not joined the Grow Gathering yet, you're going to want to join. I just know that this is a mandate. The Lord said to me before I release the flood, I, I am going to release the favor. And I believe that we are the solution to somebody else's problem. And so we can't be a solution if we're always uh, 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 we're upset, we're overwhelmed. We don't have what we need. We're we looking around crazy. We're not sure where our next is going to come from. And so we are going to be properly positioned to prosper in our purpose. I just believe the 30 days of favor I told you I have on this shirt and I'm going to tag the person who made this shirt, Octavius Miller. When I saw this shirt, I said, that's the shirt I need for 30 days of favor to kick off. It says windows, doors and, and rooms. I'm telling you that the Bible says he'll open up windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room to receive. I promise you that the Bible says that he'll open a door that no man can shut. Behold, I set before you an open door and then room. The Bible says that your gift will make room for you and put you in front of great men. I'm telling you, I'm wearing this shirt, windows, doors, and rooms. Tonight, I'll be kicking off Revelation Realm for our 30 days of favor. And I'm going to be dealing with favor, favor in our faith. I'm telling you, there is not one day of um, um, April that we will not be active 
captivating favor. I see y'all in the, uh, up here scanning these codes. Listen, get in where you fit in because we just believe that we're going to do a favor takeover. I'm telling you that 30 days, what happens? Do we understand something that there is always when we deal with, and I'll talk about this, teach on this tonight as well, because we have to deal with the humanity of what happens in our minds and our uh, mindset, because it's the control center for our brains of how we move. And a lot of times when we talk about creating habits and being able to start walking into something. A lot of people did not like this, but I used to always talk about uh, strategies and systems and sustainability. But then I would always talk about discipline and nobody wanted to hear me. I'm hollering discipline all of the time. We just finished in, in Revelation Realm inside of the Grow Gathering. We just finished a, a four week Bible study series on the diet of discipline. And when I tell you that things have been shifting in our bodies and our finances in in our relationships, Listen, we've been seeing uh, the, the result of discipline, but when it comes to favor, people don't teach us how to discipline ourselves to receive favor. Um, we always have all of these other things, but but you have to do something in a, a consistent amount of times before it becomes a discipline in your life, because before it becomes a habit, before it becomes like breathing. And so I just decided that I'm just not going to just jump up and say favor, favor, favor. No, I'm going to teach favor. We're going to for 30 days, all we're going to speak about his favor. Every scripture we're going to give you is favor. Every song that we uh, post in there is going to be connected to favor. Every teaching that one of our leaders gives you favor. Every word of encouragement favor. If you have never had someone to just overwhelm you with favor, the Bible says that I over, I, I will crown the year with bounty and your wagon tracks will overflow with favor. I'm trying not to run and I'm trying not to give this all away because I got to teach Bible study tonight, but I'm telling you, God is going to steal crown this year with bounty. That means he's going to make sure that you're going to have more than enough. I don't care what's happening out there in the world. We kingdom people over here and he's going to crown the year with bounty and our wagon tracks. That means when we leave, it's going to be overflow with favor in our wagon tracks. They're going to see goodness and mercy following us. They're going to see favor following us. And so I just believe, listen, the Bible says, whose report will we believe? Well, we, as for me and my house, I can speak for me in a grow gathering. We shall believe the report of the Lord. And so we just believe that favor is going to protect us like a shield. We just believe that favor is our portion. We just believe favor is going to go before us and make crooked ways straight. We just believe favor is going to fortify us in our faith. We just believe faith is going, favor is going to be seen in our finances. We just believe favor for our families. We just are declaring and decreeing favor in our future. Favor, favor, favor. Listen, y'all can talk about everything else because we've done the prep work. We've gotten ourselves together. Uh, in February in the Grow Gathering, our Revelation Realm was about not. And we dealt with the, uh, the being untangled, the escape plan for entanglement. And so if you, and listen, I'm giving y'all an opportunity. If you join the grow, listen, and the text, the, 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 the um, QR code is on the screen, get in the note at the grow. If you want to know what's going on and you don't want to get left out, scan to get signed up for our text messaging. But if you haven't uh, joined yet, there's a code at the top that says join us, join the grow. But I'm telling you what we are going to be doing is we're going to be positioning ourselves and you can go back and watch all of these uh, Revelation Realm Bible studies that you might have missed, but we spoke for four weeks. We did a session on being untangled. So if you have something and you're saying, I'm wrapped up in something right now, listen, we have something for you. We're we, we giving you time to get it together so you can receive this favor. And then we dealt with the diet of discipline. The last four weeks, we deal, we've dealt with discipline in our emotions, discipline in our eating, discipline in our finances, discipline in our future. We dealt with discipline, the diet of discipline. So we're giving y'all opportunity to get in where you fit in, catch yourself up on Bible study. But then for 30 days, I, somebody say 30 days, I'm talking about we are making a declaration. We are making a decision that I don't care what's rocking the boat. It might be April 1st, but I ain't no fool. And so I'm not going to be fooled. The Bible says don't be fooled by the enemy. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. He's trying to fool us. He's trying to make us think that we're going to falter and we're going to fail. But even as the judgment of the Lord comes and the Lord decides that he's going to flood, he's sending favor before the flood. 30 days. I'm telling you, you think something a lot can happen in three days. And the Lord said, now something's going to happen in 30 days. I just declare, may I just declare and decree. I just declare and decree over every single body that is connecting with us in the grow gathering that in the next 30 days, you are a 
about to see an amplification in your atmosphere. I just declare and decree in these next 30 days that you are about to sit some agitation in this uh, in, in, in your atmosphere. God is about to stir you up again. God is about to wake you up again. God is about to push you out again. I'm telling you, I declare, I'm making a decision, a declaration, and I'm telling you the disassociation is I'm turning away from fear. I am turning away from doubt. I'm turning away from anxiety. I disassociate myself from all of those things and I declare in 30 days, my life won't be the same. In 30 days, I won't even recognize me. In 30 days, my finances going to surprise me. In 30 days, things going to pop up in my family and it's going to be resolved. There is going to be resolution and reconciliation in my relationships in 30 days. I'm telling you, 30 days of favor in the grow. Do not miss this opportunity. Do not miss this moment. I could have just put up a flyer, but I said, no, I'm going to get up here and I just got to give you the word. I got to show you the spirit of the thing. This is what's about to happen inside of the grow. 30 days of favor. We prophesying over your name. We prophesying over your family. We prophesying over your future. We prophesying over your finances. We prophesying over your faith. 30 days of favor. And so uh, I'm, I'm just so grateful. We believe in windows, doors, and rooms are going to be open. I have this shirt on tonight as I teach and as I connect ourselves. The Bible says that you can't be transformed until your mind is renewed. And so we're transformed by the renewing of our minds. And so I'll be dealing tonight with my transformation as we get ready to receive 30 days of favor. Um, we are going to... Um, we're going to get into a place where we believe the report of the Lord. And so and so I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I want you guys, I'm, I'm dubbing all of y'all right now to be ambassadors. Go out and find somebody. I, if I were you, I would get grandmama them and cousin them and children them and auntie them and say, I, I just, listen, I know this is different. I know you don't do social media. This ain't that. This is not going to overwhelm you. It's just a community where everything is positive. Everything is kingdom. Everything is uplifting. Everything gives you tools. Everything moves you forward. Everything challenges you to be your best. So for 30 days, why don't y'all join me in this community? We just listen after 30 days. You know how they give you in the natural a 30 day back guarantee. If you don't want it, give it back. Listen, if you don't want our stuff, you can get that back. After 30 days, y'all give that back. But we gonna give you 30 days to come inside of the grow gathering. And I guarantee you, you're going to see the demonstration of the Lord in your life. I guarantee you, you're going to see the Lord move in your faith, in your family, in your finances and in your future. I just believe you will never be the same again. So go out. You know, we like to spread rumors and I don't know what it is about. We spread rumors, we spread, spread bad news and we spread comedy real quick. But then when it comes to the things of the Lord, when it comes to the things that's really going to, to shift us and make us and shape us, we just get real quiet. But I'm just dubbing all of you all to be ambassadors, to go out and tell somebody you need to get into the grow. Get into the grow because for the next 30 days, we're going to be shifting Shifting. I'm not telling y'all the full schedule. You don't know what day we popping up and we're going to be doing faith for fathers. You don't know what day we're going to be doing faith for fertility. You don't know what day we're going to be doing faith for uh, creatives and entrepreneurs. You don't know what day we're going to be doing faith for children. You, you just don't know. And so if I were you, I would get in the know at the grow and I would scan this code and say, let me make sure that I'm signed up and then I'm receiving these text messages because I don't want to miss not one day of favor, 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 favor. And so father, we thank Thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for these, your people. We thank you for the favor that's about to come. That's going to overtake our lives. We are grateful that you cover us like a shield with favor. We thank you, Father, that our wagon tracks will overrun with favor. And so, Father, we thank you. As we kick off this first day of favor, we are thankful for the favor. We declare favor. We declare the favor, the unearned, the un, uh, uh, unmerited grace of God on our lives to go, to grow, to glow. We thank you, Father, that windows will be open, that doors will be open, uh, that rooms will be open unto us as we declare your word, as we learn of you, as we, as we walk in righteousness, as we go after you, as we purge our hearts and purify our 
our hands, we declare that favor comes unto us. We believe that and we receive it. Uh, and if you believe that, can somebody in the comments say, I believe, because I just want to know who believes this with who believes that we are about to shake the region in the next 30 days, that we are about to shake some things loose, that some things that have been tied up, they're going to have to loosen, set free some ceilings that have been erected above us. They're going to have to bust out because we got favor that some things that have been stalemating us and stonewalling us, it's got to go because we believe the report of the Lord, windows, doors, and rooms, favor, favor, favor for the next 30 days. And so I thank you guys. And the reason I asked you to say, I believe is because how can two walk together except they agree? And so I see you guys in the comments saying, I agree. And so I'm putting my faith with everybody that says, I believe, and I agree with you. And as our faith is connected together, now two that come together and we're touching and agreeing on the same thing, we can ask what we will and it will be done unto us. And so since you believe and I believe, I'm connecting with every name that just typed, I believe, and I'm declaring that whatever it is that you believe in God for, there's some favor for that. There's some favor over that. I believe with you and I come into agreement with you as we come together and we connect our faith for favor. And so I'm so grateful for those of you guys that uh, are hearing this, even if you watch this as a replay, make sure you share this video out. Make sure you tag your folks and tell them, get in where they fit in because we are going to run into the grow and we are going to just suck up this 30 days of favor. Listen, you ain't cheating on your church. You ain't walking away from your ministry. You just coming into a place to say, I got to get charged up so that when I get out there, I can just be a favor walking machine everywhere I look. Listen, we speak Amos 9 and 13 in the message translation. I began prophesying it over my team, over my people, uh, over every ministry that I was there. And we started declaring it and it literally started happening in the natural. And so we just believe and we come into agreement, agreement with God's decree uh, that, that this is God's decree that it's listen any day now. Anytime now we kicking, we've been saying it. Somebody wants to sow a seed into this. Where do you send it to? Well, bless you. You are not under any obligation. But if you would like to give, if you would like to sow into these 30 days of favor, and I'm going to tell you, there's the code that's on the screen. If you would like to give or sow into this message or sow into the ministry, one of the things that we do as a part of the Grow Gathering is we sow into people. Uh, you never know when we're going to jump up and sow a seed into an entrepreneur or a ministry or a person or a family. We do it all of the time. I know that that's one of the ways that favor overtakes me is because I'm a giver. I'm a sower. You you will never see me in a place. And because there has been testimonies of people that have sold into my life, that have sold into the things that I've, I've done. And immediately they begin to see different things happening. Things are broken off of their lives because of this anointing for favor. Now, I promise you, if somebody would have asked about it, I would not have posted this because I just, but I'm telling you one of the ways I, and I can just speak for me, obtain favor is when I give. When I tell you, I literally am living off of favor. When I wake up in the morning, I don't have a plan. There is not a, 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 a company or a human that says, well, she can get it because she get a, a straight check or she has this and that. No, all I got is the favor of the Lord. And when I tell you that the favor of the Lord is keeping me and continues to keep me and shift me, I'm telling you favor, favor, favor everywhere I look. Favor, favor. I see you all giving. And those of you all that have decided to give, let me speak supernatural favor over your seed. Right now, I heard the word. I spoke this once before, but I just heard it again. Ridiculous revenue. Ridiculous revenue. Every person that is sowing into these 30 days of favor, I prophesy ridiculous revenue. I just heard that. I don't know where it's coming from, but I know it's going to be ridiculous. They call me and say, I've, I've seen it. I, it's happened inside the grow. We've had our leaders that say, I just got a check. These folks said they was holding up my check. One of my team members, she came to an event. She went back home. She said, the city had sent me four checks, something I have been fighting for for the last few years. And they would just, and she sent me a picture of all of them. Favor, favor, favor. I'm telling you, we're going to have a testimony service one night and we just going to be declaring favor. It's time for testimonies to come back because I just believe, see, we out here thinking that God ain't still working miracles. Let me tell you, there are times I wake up and there's a miracle in my bank account. I wake up and there's a miracle that was in my, my mailbox. I wake up and my children calls me and there are miracles. I 
live in the realm of, I feel the anointing. I live in the realm of favor. If anybody can prophesy ridiculous revenue, I'm telling you, I ain't asking you to do nothing. I can promise you the grow going to go with or without. We're going to do what we came to do. But I'm telling you, as we walk out these 30 days of favor, may your eyes not see, may your ears not have heard, may your mind not even, and your heart not even be able to comprehend the things that God has prepared for you. I declare ridiculous revenue over your seed. I declare that favor will find you and run you down. I declare that favor will knock on your door. I declare that everywhere your feet will try, there will be favor. And so I call in ridiculous revenue. Oh, I need it to be ridiculous. We don't need no little bitty seeds. God, you have put some big things in our hands and our heart. Ridiculous revenue. It need to blow my mind. It need to drive me. It need to make me say what in the world just happened here. I just declare and decree ridiculous revenue over your life. And so 30 days of favor. I got to go because I got things to do and people to see. But I just declare in this season that we are about 30 days of favor. Y'all can join the grow for free. Listen, you got a 30 bag guarantee. If don't that happen for you in those 30 days, y'all can go. It's fine. I, we ain't mad. We're going to send the blessings of the Lord and grace and peace with you. But I'm telling you, if you believe the report of the Lord, 30 flat days of favor. I'm going to put this up one more time. You can scan this code to get text messages because I don't want you to miss out on what is happening up uh, and, 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 and be able to sign up uh, to get text messages. When is it happening? What are y'all doing today? Listen, I'm telling you guys, don't forget, we start, we kicking off tomorrow with the alphabet game and everybody who is a member of the Grow, get your folks in there because we're going to be posting their names and if it starts with the letter A, that day everybody gonna be prophesying favor over your names if you start with a every day every letter we're gonna cover in these 30 days every family request we have inside of the grow a prayer request box you can send a prayer request we uh, we come together for midweek manna every wednesday morning at 5 a.m and we pray and we have a room called intercessions they enter in for a prayer session with the lord and we pray over each and every one of your uh prayer requests and we've gotten praise reports so you don't want to miss what's happening over these next 30 days. I, I pray that the Lord bless and keep you. I pray that he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And I pray that the Lord give you peace. Listen, tell somebody about these 30 days of favor. Hear me now. Tell them to get in where they fit in because this is the only time that the Lord has commanded me. Is that I'm going to commit what God is doing. So we're going to inside the growth. Peace.